Hi everyone, so today I'm going to discuss about some of the interesting questions related to the Oracle DBA. This question has been asked in one of the interview of DCS and this question I got it from one of the students. So there are around five questions are there which I am trying to explain along with the answer. So again, this will be very interesting if you are going for Oracle DBA interview. And one more thing, like if you are looking for Oracle DBA training, you can reach out to the Learnomate team. The numbers are available in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get started with our first interview questions related to the Oracle DBA. So uh, in the interview, this uh, interviewer, uh, especially in TCS, they have asked like in the redo log, we have a different different type of log file status are there. Like we have active, inactive and currents are there. Right. So redo log file status are there. So what is this? What is meant by current and all those things? Right. So let me explain you. So in the redo log file, uh, let's take an example of your first state that is your current. So whenever Oracle is trying to, you know, you are trying to make some transactions, that transactions are getting read to written into the redo log file. So that redo log file status will be your current means your current transactions are going over there. Then we have a status like active state. So active state is basically uh, you have a very important data in the redo log file, but uh, currently your log writer is not writing anything into that file. But yes, any data which is available into that file, it is important for your recovery purpose. So we need those active redo log files also and third one will be your inactive state in the inactive state you consider that currently your log writer is not writing anything into that file and any data which is available in that file maybe it is not required for your recovery purpose so that's all about the three status of your redo log files now coming to the next question uh, someone has asked like uh, can you tell me about how many blocks will be consumed by the table space so actually this block is completely um, depending upon these blocks are completely depending upon the DB block size means I'm talking about a data file so it's not on the table space level usually the DB block size will be your 8 KB now let's take an example I have one data file which is of size 1 GB so 1 GB divided by your 8 KB whatever the the value will come that will be the number of blocks so that's all about the number of blocks which are available into not table space it is on data file basically so table space contain the number of data file and you can do that mathematical calculation based on the db block size is 8 kb third interview questions will be like you know okay in the data file uh, we have different different type of blocks are there so can you explain about that blocks in the data file so in the data file we have a different different type of blocks are there the first one is your data block so in data file the data block is the one which is actually storing your data okay second one will be your undo block like whenever you are making some transactions and you want to do the rollback right so those uncommitted transactions that will go into the undo block then we have a block like free block so let's say i want to insert some data so oracle will check this free block like what are all blocks are there which are free right now where we can insert a data apart from this we have a segment header block is there extend header block is there segment header block will store your metadata information about your segment an extend header block will store it will like you know manage extend inside a segment okay uh, then we have another interview question which is the fourth one what is how roll forward happen using redo log and who is responsible okay this is also very important question related to the instance recovery so whenever you know oracle thought like okay we need to do the instance recovery that instance recovery will be done by the process we call it as a smon so what is this roll forwards in that case Let's take an example, we are doing some transactions and some transactions are committed but those transactions has not written into the data file. So when you are starting your database instance next time, the s will do the instance recovery. So whatever transactions which are committed, that transactions will be rolled forward. But who will do that? s by using your redo log files. Okay, so that's uh, that is your basically roll forward. And the next uh, interview question which background process is responsible for roll back and roll forward again all this roll forward and roll back will be done by using your background process called SMON. SMON play a very very important role uh, whenever you see some sort of inconsistency in the oracle database oracle is like you know it is always consistent okay so it will make sure that whatever data which is available in the data file it is consistent and only the committed data will be visible to your customer but all those things will be taken care by your SMON. And PMON is responsible, like if you see 
some sort of background processes which are uh, you consider a situation that like you know some background processes are stuck idle or there need to be some cleanup all those things will be done by the PMOD. so this is just a heads up about these five entry questions related to the oracle dba but again if you have any questions you can just ask me in the comment section and if you are looking for oracle dba training you can reach out to the learner we are starting a new batch of oracle dba especially in hindi as well as in english so let me know again you can join our whatsapp group and that's okay okay you can follow us on our linkedin insta and so many things thank you so much i hope you people like it if i missed anything uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any questions let me know in the comment section also thank you bye, -bye.